got no when to hold up. No when to fold up. No when to walk away. And no when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough to count. When Good morning. Excuse me. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing out there? <clears throat> Sorry, I took a drink of coffee and went down the wrong way. <clears throat> okay, here we are. Uh, Thursday morning. Looks like the spy is hovering around 145.79. Looks like we have a inside day open. Inside day open to yesterday's candle. Uh, I do want to point out again, yesterday, that's not what I wanted. Uh, here we are. 15-minute um, chart. We put in these um, shaved heads up here. And if you look at the 30-minute chart, we've got a uh, tweezer top. Uh, that's something that we need to watch this morning. Uh, watch how the market opens and how it acts um, as we as we work into the first few minutes of the morning. Uh, today's stock picks. Sorry, I guess I'm a little bedazzled here. Uh, body B O D Y. This is uh, one of today's stock picks. We've got a little bullish engulf. Yeah. Not quite a bullish engulf yesterday. Um, closed up over the T line very well. Let's look at the line chart. The line chart is starting to pop over, so we need a little confirmation to really get that going, and then we might see an attack of these recent swing highs, and then possibly uh, up into this gap area, and then the 200-day simple moving average. Today's stock pick, QSII. QSII today's stock pick. Um, uh, we want to be a buyer on strength over uh, yesterday's high. Uh, probably should move that down a little bit. There we go. Uh, be a buyer over yesterday's high and PBO buyers we want to look at a buy down to pretty much the 50-day simple moving average and that will be our stop that's also about the 20 or the uh, uh, t-line uh, close of yesterday so PBO buyers down in the inside area of yesterday's candle down to the red line or the 50-day simple moving average and if we do close below that level you do want to get rid of that um, we have a little wedge in this also building if you take a look at this black line and then if you look at the green line where the open where we're looking to buy on strength we're starting to wedge from that that level up um, you can see we have a little W pattern forming here uh, double bottom with that pattern so there's a lot going for this little chart uh, if it can muster up enough strength to start breaking out Targets, we'll look at targets. Uh, first target will be the swing high of about $20.10. Um, then we'll be looking something about this $21.77, $21.80 in that area. And then up here around the $24.90 uh, area uh, for targets. And then, of course, there we'll be looking at the 200 day <clears throat> simple moving average. LUFK. LUFK is a rounded bottom breakout over here. Uh, we've rallied up, we've pulled back, put in another little bottom. We have a, a, a bottom where not not a, certainly not a hammer, but you can see where the bulls started bringing it in, our bulls coming back in and driving us up from this low. And from there, there's just been one, two, three, four, five bars of consolidation. Um, then we have this gap up consolidation another hammer you can see where the bulls are really wanting in here um, doji and then yesterday the bulls finally got their act together and popped us up you want to buy on strength or an inside day that's a nice chart LUFK uh, NBIX has rallied up nice little run up pullback looks like we have a one two three four and eh, five bar uh, bottom here right at the 50 and the 200 simple 
we're looking for continued strength up retest these highs nice swing trade chart right here um, jag jag is on the watch list today uh, jag is a rounded bottom breakout yeah rounded bottom breakout we've pulled back here we have this hammer uh, net you know hammer you're not supposed to have this this wick up here at all but if you look at the body you've got your your tail your wick down here is two and a half times two times uh, longer than the body so I, I look at this as a a hammer doji scenario it's a bullish Hiromi sitting inside this candle this red candle and from there we've rallied up and then we've kind of scooped down I really like this chart pattern when we move up and then scoop down like this and then this bottom right here this bottom holds <clears throat> above this low right here that, that is a very nice chart pattern when that happens and then we start curling up so we want to be a buyer on strength today uh, certainly anything to the right uh, holding above the t-line I would look at buying using a t-line stop we'll look for the target direction to be the 200 day simple moving average up here knowing it's not going to go in a straight line so you want to trade this up and down up and down uh, UNFI UNFI okay we'll skip that for now how about ALXA we'll come back to that one U, uh, ALXA has popped up over the uh, 200 day simple moving average has pulled back a uh, little Hiromi here actually a very nice Hiromi uh, with yesterday's uh, with the previous day's red candle on strength we have a nice little J hook that might uh, be produced out of this chart so on strength we drive up over these tops and that will that will give us that uh, J hook scenario let's go back and tr there we go there's our UNFI UNFI has been trending up it's pulled back the 20 is still above the 50 the 34 is above the 50 we have a doji hammer bullish engulf trending down indecision hammer the bottom bullish engulf we want to trade this on strength ideally we need to get it up over these levels right in here once it does that might climb to something even higher from here up not a bad percentage uh, fuel cell fuel cells a rounded bottom breakout a little cheapy for those that like the little cheapy charts you can see where it's come down we're starting to move up price action above the 50 great consolidation and a good bullish Hiromi yesterday you can see how it's made a flat top up here bottom line is we need to trade above that flat top any buying inside 50 stop add to on a breakout of this flat top right here and the last one I have is RNF RNF has been trending up very nice we've got a nice little pullback to the 50 inside our trap um, little doji gap up and then you have some follow through yesterday closing above the T line or closing above the 20 here's our uh, just our line chart and you can see how the intermediate trend has come back bounced off the T line bouncing off the 34 and then our faster moving average coming back up through both of those mainly the T line that starts us for our cycle uh, back up so uh, from here we're looking to retest these swing highs and possibly higher uh, let's see here all right I want to thank everybody for being here I'll be right back as soon as I get this loaded on YouTube and uh, good trading today thank you